Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Wildwood 32 BHDS. If you're looking for a nice bunk model trailer with some of the higher end amenities, this is certainly one you want to take a look at. Starting off with the kitchen, look at the beautiful solid surface countertops you have in here. You have to love that. It gives it that residential kitchen feel. Double bowl sink here with the high rise, very industrial looking faucet there as well. Over on the side, you'll see the three burner cooktop. You have the knife holder right there in the back. And then underneath is your oven, so that way you can do some baking. Also underneath here, you see you have three full extension drawers. And the top one, as you notice, had the uh, silverware divider in that in there. And then a couple others for your larger utensils, hot pads, whatever else you want to throw in there. Also underneath the sink, you'll see there is plenty of room there for a trash can. Right over around to the side here, you have some extra storage, nice little pantry area. I want to throw in some maybe cups of soup or bags of chips, something like that. That is a good place for it. If we take a look right here on the side, I do want to show you this. Your main control panel is tucked away right here on the side. You notice your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump, heater, lights, and slide outs. And you also have this remote right here, which also will control your slides, your awning, your awning light, uh, and your power stabilizer jacks. So you make your way down a little further here, you have the kind of uh, frosted glass there, which is a pretty cool look. Take a look inside, you'll notice more storage up top there. LED light underneath, as you'd expect, you have LED lights throughout the entire RV, which are great. They help keep things nice and bright, and they don't use near the power of your standard incandescents, plus they don't put out near as much heat. Two electrical outlets here in the kitchen, so plenty of space to plug in your coffee maker, toaster, whatever else you need to plug in there. And you also have good prep space right here, which I certainly enjoy. Also up top is your microwave with the stainless steel hood right underneath. And as you will notice, most of your appliances here are stainless steel. They kind of keep that sweet throughout. Then you have the beautiful Whirlpool residential fridge freezer. Take a look at that, folks. A ton of space in here. Now bear in mind that this does run off only electric, so to use this effectively, you're either going to have to have a generator or be somewhere where there is shore power. But there is an inverter that is dedicated just to this refrigerator, so that way as you're going down the road, it'll make sure everything in here stays nice and cool, and you won't have food spoiling during your trip. Then right over here, look at that. Nice large pantry. I love having big pantry space like this. You know, you did have a little bit of uh, other storage in the kitchen, but this really helps set it apart and gives you all that other storage space you need for your food. Right across the way here is a super slide. You'll see the large U-shaped dinette. Plenty of room for everyone to sit around and have a meal together, play a game together. It also drops down into a bed that is large enough for two adults to comfortably sleep in. You'll see on the one side here, you have the large pull-out drawer. So again, more storage there for you. And it's also easy to access. If you take a look at the windows, you'll see they have roller shades on there. So upgraded shades, nicer than what you generally get in a lot of bunk models out there. Right up top here, you'll see storage running the whole length. And again, it kind of has that same frosted glass there. And directly underneath is your jackknife sofa. This sofa does have armrests here. These are removable if you want to take them out and drop it down into a bed. Otherwise, they are pretty comfy. It also comes with two pillows that help blend all the colors together. And you have this easy access drawer right here underneath. You'll see this is big storage space, perfect for any extra pillows, bedding, anything else that you want to tuck underneath there. As far as a rainy day, you want to watch some TV, right there is your entertainment center. There is a backer to mount the TV there where this poster is. You'll see directly underneath is your multimedia center. That controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside. It is also Bluetooth capable. And then underneath here, you have additional storage. As we take a look at the bathroom, you will see the second entrance here. This is really great to have in a bunk model because that way, whether it's the kids, friends, family, yourself, if you have to use the bathroom, you just come right in, do your business, and head right back out. You're not traipsing dirt throughout the entire RV. Right here in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. I'll take a seat here. As you can see, you have plenty of leg room. I'm pretty wide in the shoulders, so it is a little tight on the left side, but honestly, it is still quite comfortable, and it'll probably be for most people. You see your toilet paper holder right there is already mounted, so you don't have to worry about where that goes. And right up here on the corner is your hand towel ring. If you take a look directly above, you have your vent fan there. 
And over to this side here is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage. Underneath you have a toothbrush holder is already mounted to the wall, electrical outlet to plug in your hair dryer, you know, whatever else you need to plug in there. Um, you have your sink top and vanity and additional storage right here underneath. Over to this side is the tub shower. I like having a tub and a bunk model too in case you have little ones that need to take a bath. And I'll step in here to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot. As you'll notice, I do have a little bit of space here, but if you're much taller, you know, if you're six two, six three, you probably will have to hunker down a little bit. But either way, it does have the hand wand here, which makes showering a little bit easier. Again, especially if you're bathing the little ones. Right outside the bathroom, you see great hanging space for the kids. I'll open this up for you, and as you can see in there, the hanging rod's going across, so an excellent place to hang the clothes. You also have some drawers underneath, so if you need place for folded clothes, you'll see four additional drawers right across the way here. Also, if you want to put some towels in here, it also can make a decent linen closet. When you come back into the bunk room, you will see there is a slider door here, so that way it gives you that little added sense of privacy rather than just having a curtain. And then as we step back into the bunk room, you will see your three different beds. The slide out right here to help open up this space. Top bunk does fold up, so if you need to get that up and out of the way, you can fold it up like so. It just locks up onto the wall there, which will reveal your jackknife sofa underneath which gives the kids a good spot to hang out. You know, if they want to watch TV, that hooks up right across the way. And again, that jackknife also drops down into a bed. You have a window right here in the back to let in a lot of natural light. And right over to this side here is your third bunk. You'll see this one is a little bit wider than the uh, top bunk on the other side. So maybe a little bit better if you, you know, need to stick two smaller kids to a bed or if you have a, an older child that's still going camping with you, uh, this is a good spot for them as well and you will notice the built-in ladder, so it's easy to climb up there. Right here is where the TV will go. If you want a TV in the bunk room, you'll see some additional storage right there to the side, and you have a tiny bit right down below. So we take a look at the bedroom. One of my favorite parts about the Wildwood is the mattress itself. This is a Denver mattress, nice pillow top on there, folks. This is extremely comfortable. This is one of the beds where when you're actually out camping, you won't feel like you woke up on the floor. So something you, you, know, you can keep as you're camping, again, something you won't have to replace right away. On both sides of the bed, you have some storage options here. You'll notice on one side, you actually have a clothes hamper. So great place to throw some dirty clothes, electrical outlets on both sides as well. That way you can charge your electronic devices or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can put that on either side too. And then you'll notice the mirrored wardrobe with the hanging rod going across there. So good hanging storage. You have the shelf in between if you want to throw some uh, extra things up there, maybe some folded clothes or, you know, other items that you may need. And then you have storage under the bed here as well. Actually, if you can look right up front, you'll see not only do you have the storage underneath, but you have this cut out here too. So if you want to throw some items right in there, you know, uh, they are underneath the bed, so it's not like they'll be in the way and it makes them pretty easy to get to. If you like to watch TV before bed, you will see right here on the wall, you have a spot for the TV and all of your hookups are there as well. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at the outside of the Wildwood 32 BHDS. Starting off right up front, they give you a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also have a light on there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with the 30-pound tank cover on here. So that way, if you do upgrade your tanks at a later date, you already have the cover. Right behind that, you have rails for your battery. And coming up the front, you have the black diamond plating, which helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Above that, you will see the smooth aluminum front here. Cool thing about that is one, it looks a lot nicer, and two, it's easier to clean. This is generally where all your bugs collect from going down the road. Having the smooth alum aluminum is easier to clean than the rib. And coming down the side here, we'll open up the pass-through storage. Uh, I do have a box in here. Don't mind that, but you can see that uh, it is passed through going all the way through there. And you also have access underneath the bed, which we saw when we were inside. Right underneath that, you have solar prep. So if you plan on doing some boondocking and, or you, know, you just want a little bit extra charge to your batteries there, you can buy the portable panels, plug them in right there, and trickle charge your battery. If you take a look underneath, you see the power stabilizer jacks. Now there are controls here up front, 
as well as in back. This control will control your two front ones. One in back obviously will be the two rear. But as I mentioned inside, you can control that with the remote as well. Take a quick look up top. You'll see the power awning. We currently have that extended. Just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. LED light strip underneath, you can see that, helps brighten it up at night. And it also has easy adjust pitch. You literally just pull it just like so. And as you see, the awning uh, will come down and you can do that on both sides. Two outside speakers here. If you want to listen to some music, you can do that. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but like I mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. Getting into the RV is super simple, folks. They have the Solid Step by Lippert. This is a great step design. One, it's aluminum steps. The steps themselves won't rust out on you. You will see the grip tape on there too, so if it's wet, you won't slip and fall. And you have the foldable easy grab handle to help with that as well. But if you're sick of the normal steps where you go to step out and it's bouncing like a trampoline, folks, this is solid. I mean, you can jump on this, no issues whatsoever. You will feel nice and secure when entering or exiting the RV. Need to plug some things in outside? This is where you'll do it right there. You'll see your double electrical outlet. And again, if you're planning on doing some boondocking, you want to fill your water tank, you can do that right there. That is your fresh water tank. Bear in mind, this one does have that residential refrigerator, so if you plan on doing some boondocking, you'll probably want to bring a generator along with you. Uh, the wheels themselves are easy lube axles on there, so uh, that's pretty great too. You know, it's a lot easier on the maintenance side of things. There's a little grease dirt you can pump grease into instead of having to constantly repack the bearings. And you have nitrogen filled tires, which in theory should hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. This is that secondary entrance going into the bathroom right there. And right back here, of course, my favorite part of the bunkhouse, and that is your outside kitchen. We open this guy up, nice large refrigerator there, so plenty of room for your condiments, any beverages, you know, pot, beer, whatever else you want to put out here. You have storage up top there, which is good for some extra cups, plates. You know, hey, if you're a drinker, you want to put booze out there, there's plenty of uh, height here. You can put bottles in there as well. You do have a drawer tucked away right there, so good spot for maybe some plasterware, LED light, as you can see. Sink right here off to the side, so if you do want to, uh, you know, wash some dishes or whatever wire out here, you can do that. Now, I call it an outside kitchen. You're probably thinking, where do you cook? If you take a look right here in the back, folks, there is a grill on a swing arm, and so that way, you know, you can fire that guy up. Uh, that's definitely a great way to cook outside, keep all the smells out here instead of inside. Also on the back, if you take a look up top, you'll see this one has backup camera prep. Uh, you know, this is a pretty big RV. If you want a backup camera, the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. On the off-door side here, you'll see your 30 amp power cable. Directly up above that is your cable and satellite inlets, and your city water inlet is right here too. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Wildwood 32 BHDS. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.